A week and a half of talks produced a slimmer but still troubled version of a climate deal. Negotiators from 195 countries are mainly divided over how far to go in curbing global temperature rises. More than 100 developing countries support the target of 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise after 2020, while big polluters prefer 2 degrees, which would allow them to burn more fossil fuels for longer. And opinions differ on how to pay for it. Despite the divisions, French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius believes much progress has been made and is looking forward to a final deal on Friday. The new text, including a core agreement and accompanying decisions, runs 29 pages, much shorter than the 43-page version the countries reached last Saturday. Analysts say a shorter version of draft agreement is a sign that divergences are decreasing. China's special envoy on climate change, Xie Zhenghua, agrees, but it's not that simple. There are three minister-level problems left to be resolved. They are the divergence, capital and working force. The solution to these problems depends on the degree of the commitment of all the countries. Xie says the Chinese delegation is studying the test and it's determined to get a comprehensive and balanced agreement that benefits all. We will assess the draft with the basic countries on the basis of analysis and then consult with the G77 group, as well as developed countries. Tonight we will have further communication with the major developed countries on the divergences between the South and the North. We are striving to contribute to the success of the conference. Negotiators are expected to come up with the new draft by Thursday afternoon. And with time running out, the pressure is on. Hu Chuxiao, CCTV.